Thank you. There has been many inspi inspiring sessions today, and I hope you have room for more. My name is Ahmed Modar. I'm a lead front-end developer at the Swedish Pensions Agency, working at a modern IT department with two offices, one here in Stockholm and one up in the north in Luleå. I have a personal vision, and my vision is to make life easier for people. My vision drove me to do a lot of enhancements for our end customers, as well as for my colleagues. I often participate at innovation competitions, and we are developing e-surfaces at the agency. We are a few teams. We have more than 25 e-surfaces that has a graphical interface, GUI. And one day, Ulrika, our art director, came and said that we have a bug in production. And she asked me if I can fix it. I was focused to deliver a feature, so I paused my work and I fixed the bug. And then, in a few days later, she comes again with another bug. And the things kept on like that from time to time, new bugs. And I hear from my other colleagues that they are struggling with the same thing. Not always it was clear what a bug is. Sometimes we needed to see the graphical user interface specifications to know the bug. Now, this is a very interesting challenge for me, and I wanted to learn more about it. So today, I'm going to tell you about the problem. Why is it a problem? what solutions are out there, and how we achieved a great result. Now, this is one of our buttons, and it's the correct one. Here, on the other hand, the same button, but there is a bug in it. Check it for a moment. Do you see what is different with the other button? Hands up if you see one difference. Thank you. Hands up if you see two differences. Some of you see two differences. Now, hands up if you see all the three differences. Some of you see it. Great. The border is bigger, the button is longer, and the button has a border color that is slightly different than the other one. And it's very difficult to see the difference between these colors. Now think about this button inside a web page filled off other elements. How likely is it to notice these bugs? It's difficult. And this is the real, real world. This button and elements such as this button lives in production, and we don't notice them. Now, why is that? We have bugs in production, and they pass through the test. Before we look at that, we need to understand how we human work. So I'm going to show you a video about a trick, and before we see it, I want to tell you that studies found that we don't remember everything. We only remember a few things. So from such a wonderful day like today, we will remember maybe 10% of what we saw and heard. And I will give you this example to see how it works. Hi, I'm Richard, this is Sarah, and we're going to perform the amazing colour-changing card trick with this blue-backed deck of cards. Now, the idea is very simple. I'm just going to spread the cards in front of Sarah and ask her to push any card towards the camera. Right, OK, let's see. I'm going to go for this card here. OK. Now, Sarah could have selected any card at all from the deck. But she selected the card, which is now face down on the table. 
What I'm going to ask her to do is show us which card she selected. Right, so the card that I chose was in fact the Three of Diamonds. The Three of Diamonds, okay, an excellent choice. That card goes back into the deck. Now I'm just going to spread the cards face up on the table. Give a little click of the fingers and you'll see that Sarah's card here has now got a blue back. Not particularly surprising, what's slightly more surprising is all of the other cards have got red backs. And that is the amazing colour changing card trick. Now the first time I saw this video, I didn't notice anything. I was only focused on the cards. I didn't see any colour change. And some of you saw some colour changing now. Others won't see it because it's how we human work. In fact, there were four changes. And we just saw the video now. Let's see the video from a different angle to see what was going on in the background. Now, how nice it would be if we had that angle on a web application to see everything that is going around. It would be a superpower. Back to why do we have bugs? We are many developers. We do code changes all the time. We deliver new features. And even though that we have testers, to test our deliveries and approve them, there will be bug because we are human. We do mistakes and they will pass through to production. To find the bug, it's too expensive. We need to scan all the visual elements in all pages and we need to interact with them. Hover on the button, click on the links, expand the expandables, and even so, there will be bugs. The modern web, how we develop, is about reusable components, elements. So an element that we implement here can be a part of a component here, 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 in a page here. So if I do a change with the element, I may introduce unwanted changes on these components and I can't see it if I only test for this element. Now with that knowledge, what do we need? I think we need something like unit test, but for the visual elements. A test that can tell us when the element breaks or changes. And I also think that we need to automate the test process so that our development runs smoothly. Now, I was looking for solutions for this need, and I found a field called visual regression testing. What visual regression testing is, is about the technology takes a screenshot from the elements that we are interested in. And then, when a developer do a code change, we take another screenshot, and the technology will compare these two screenshots to find diff. If it's find a diff, it will highlight it for us. There are too many surfaces, tools, that provides visual regression testing. And we tested a few of them. And we found one called Backstop.js. It's an open source that uh, is a Node.js module. 
and it met our requirements. And I'm going to show you here how it works. I will focus on the button we saw for the very basic to show how it works. So now we have the configuration and the test in the same file, just to make it simple. We have three viewports and to have for small screens, medium screens, and big screens. The code is less than 40 lines. It's very easy. And here in the top, we have the test. One test, I tell it what page it will go to, and I give it a name, and I give it the selector of the element that we are interested in. In this case, the button. Here, I have my SAS file. I'm going to change the color from blue to black to introduce a bug. So now we have the color black for the text, and we will run regression. We will call the configuration. I have it like uh, a script in the package JSON. And we see here there is mismatch. The report shows exactly what is the mismatch. Here we see highlighted the text where we introduced the bug from blue to black. Now we remove that line and see if it works to report green test. We rerun regression. Zero failed, the report green, everything looks nice. That simple is Backstop.js and you can integrate it in your development environment. Now back with manual test, we spent one to three hours to test something. And that means the test tree description, prepare the test environment, test in small, big, medium screens, and even though there will be bugs. With visual regression test, on the other hand, it takes one to three minutes to run all the tests for all the visual elements that we have test scenarios for. And that means for me as a developer, when I do some code change and I run visual regression test, it will give me a feedback that I didn't break anything. So I can deliver my code to production and work with my next task without stressing that something will come back from the tester with bug. What does it mean for the testers? For the testers, it means that now they skip the boring work to test these things and spend time on things that requires a deep human understanding. In other words, we let the computers do what they are best in and we let the human to do what they are good at. <coughs> now we learned that we will not remember everything from this talk. So what I want you to remember is that automating with the help of visual regression testing gives us more time for fun. And I see how inspired you are, and I guarantee you there is no organization that can afford to not have visual regression testing. Thank you. If you have any questions, please catch me afterwards. I will be happy to answer them. And find me on LinkedIn, write to me. There is an article I put other technologies uh, other use cases that you can use visual regression tests with. And I hope to see you soon again. <laughs>